Hello my amazing sexy mofos, this is your boy Venomy here, I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video I am back with another Forza Horizon 5 Dragon Tune video. The car that we are abusing today is a Camaro ZL1 1LE. What a nice flow off the tongue that is. But before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, now let's talk about the upgrades, how to create this beast. You want to put in on the engine swap the racing 7.2 liter V8, pushing over 1300 horsepower. After this, for the drivetrain swap, you want to keep it rear wheel drive, and you also want to apply the twin turbo option as well. Once you've done all of that, come over to aero and appearance, quickly take off the spoiler, then come to tires and rims. You want to put drag tire compounds on the car, and you want to make the rear tire width as big as possible. Also, what what you can do to help the car a little bit is make the car have a lighter rim set so go for some rims that weigh a little bit less now for the engine upgrades you want to put every single one of these onto race you just want to max it out get as much horsepower out of the car as physically possible now platform and handling race brakes off-road springs and dampers you want to go with that race weight reduction kit avoid the roll cage you don't have a rear um, race bars on this so you want to go with the front anti-roll bars when it comes to the last category drivetrain you just want to make sure you have a race clutch race transmission race drive line and you could either put on a race differential or a drift differential it's entirely up to you so when it does come to the tuning all you want to do is pause the video every time I change category, just copy it all down, upgrade your car while I'm doing mine. This is just for the drivers and the racers, drifters, people that like to drag race. This is for the people that want to tune their car and adjust the tune, maybe try to make it a little bit better or just to adjust it to their preference because everyone drives differently. So this is dedicated to those type of drivers that want to tweak the tune and definitely maybe adjust it or just see if they can make it better. After this part you will have the share code. Um, that's just for the type of people that want to put the share code in and then they can just straight away have fun with the car, start driving it around. It applies all the upgrades and the tune for you. Um, but doing it this way by manually putting in the tune it will be a little bit slower but at least it means you can customize the tune and play with the tune and tweak with it so apply the tune however you see fit but talking about the car the car is amazing um, it is definitely a sleeper um, there were a few cars that beat me today definitely uh, Jesco beat me, a Rimac, a Koenigsegg 1 um, what else beat me today? Um, I had a Hot Wheels car, the Bone Shaker. That beat me today as well. That was rapid. Definitely, definitely have to do a video on one of those. But there was a few cars that I actually thought I wouldn't beat that I ended up beating. A uh, Toyota Supra. There was another Koenigsegg, I'm not too sure which one it was, but I ended up beating the Koenigsegg. Um, there was a McLaren Senna I ended up beating, and then it ended up wiping out the entire competition. Um, this car is absolutely great though, there are loads of cars that it will compete with, but there's loads of cars that can overtake it. At the end of the day, it is just a Camaro, it is a ZL1. Um, it's not exactly a Bugatti or something like that, but it's n if it is losing, it's not by much. That's what I will say about this car. It is an amazing goddamn car. It competes goddamn well. There are loads of cars that will probably, loads of drivers that will be in cars thinking, ha, this is going to be an easy win. They'll leave this car in the dust. 
that is not the case. This car, yes, it does have a little bit of wheel spin through first gear um, due to the massive engine in it. The amount of power it's got is off the chain. But because of that engine and how much horsepower it's got, it does keep up. That is what I think surprises people. People underestimate this car. It's, it can definitely challenge a lot of people, definitely can. It is an, an amazing car, definitely a great tune. It will have a lot of people having their jaws drop, put it that way. Obviously, if they want to play aggressive and pull out a Jesco, then most likely they are going to win. But when it comes to, or same with a Rimac, but when it comes to just basic supercars and some hypercars, this car can easily leave them in the dust. But I'm going to wrap this video up here and leave you all with the rest of the gameplay. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. But I love every single one of you, and I'll see you all in the next video.